بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Okay, so now let's move on with the basic VLAN labs. I'm, I'm going to document some basic VLAN lab. As you can see, I'm going to assign this particular port here in the VLAN 10. Now, this is the same lab what we did with the packet tracer. I'm just trying to show you with the same option inside the GNS3. Okay, so we'll, we'll be doing that. So to start with, we will be getting back to our GNS3 where I'll be... I need to have the IVU image. So this is the IVU switch, what already have. And I need some VPC, so I don't need other devices. So I can simply uh, remove them or you can just add them a little bit later if you want. Okay. Now, even I don't need this uh, device. This is an IVU device. I don't need that. You can also remove the IVU de IVSV device. This is my IVSV and I need some VPCs. Now, now there are two options in the VPCs here. There's something we need to know, especially when we are connecting the host, the VPCs here. Like one of the option is you when you select the VPCs, like in my case, I'm going to the edit preferences from where I can select the VPCs here. Okay, so the VPC modules, the VPC nodes. Now we can add this VPC nodes when you click on new. Now there are two options. You have to select like if you remember when we uh, try to run the local machine now now you will be using this local machine on your computer if you are connecting this to any uh, switch or the router which is running the local machine as well which means the ios image or ethernet switch normal switch and in case if you are using if you're using the iou image or ios v images which runs on the gns3 vm so if you're trying to connect these VPCs to this device, then you must be selecting this option. So depending upon which device you are trying to connect, you have to select the VPCs. So in my case, as you can see, I'm trying to connect this to the IVU device, which runs on the GNS3 VM. And you can see here, this is running on GNS3 VM. So I'm going to connect this device. So which means I need to run the VPCs to that. So if you are not running, then it's not going to work. So that's that's the a kind of uh, difference you need to know and when you click on apply and here you can see the vpcs listed here so now i can drag and drop these vpcs as per my requirement i need at least four to do the basic switching lab so the pc3 pc4 because already there is a pcs here so we'll be dragging and dropping the pc3 and the pc4 Okay, so I can connect now. Now I'm going to connect. Now when you're doing the connectivity, make sure that you remember the ports. So I'm using E0 by 1 and then E0 by 2. And likewise here I'm using E1 by 1 and E1 by 2. So these are uh, some of the differences as I said. So these two ports will assign in the VLAN 10 and these two ports will assign in the VLAN 20. So and already this device is already in the console. So, which means I don't need to. So, the device is already in the console. So, I'll change the host name to switch one. Uh, switch one. That's going to be the switch one. And you can save the configurations here. Okay. So, once we do the connectivity here, now, now once we are done with the connectivity, I'm going to try and assign the devices in the respective VLANs. As you can see, this is going to be my topology here. And as per this topology, I'm going to. So as per this topology, we'll try to assign the ports. Okay. So we'll continue the same lab till trunking here, VLANs and trunking. And the difference uh, will write down so that there's no confusion. So E1 by E0, E0 by 1, and then E0 by 2, and then E1 by 1, and then E1 by 2. So these are the ports. And we'll, we will be assigning these ports in the VLAN 10. And likewise, we'll be assigning these two ports in the VLAN 20. And also, we'll be assigning the IP addresses to the PCs. So let's start with an IP addresses to the PCs. Like I said, when you're connecting uh, these things, uh, make sure that you're connecting to the right virtual PCs. 
so these virtual PCs and the switch should be on the same uh, device means they must be running on the same so not on the local so if you're running if you're if you're connecting the VPCs here then uh, to this device you need to run the VPCs on the host like the option you have to select so when you select the VPCs when you click on new this is the option difference Okay, so let's move on with the IP. So we'll start these devices, the VPCs. So let's start the devices here. And also I'll try to console these devices. Now consoling the devices, as we know, uh, what is the command to assign the IP? Again, we can go to the PC1 and as per my topology, I'm going to assign the IP as IP, right? So I'm going to say, the command is IP and then the IP address is 181.1.1 with slash 24. The gateway is not required, but we'll use the gateway a little bit later and assign the IP address on the PC1. And on the PC2, the only difference will change the IP to 1.2. The PC3 is on a different subnet. So we'll assign, not on a different subnet. It's, yeah, it's a different subnet, different VLAN. So I'm going to say 2.1. And the gateway is 2.100. This is for the PC3. And the PC4 will be using a 2.2. Okay, so the VLAN 10, VLAN 20, different IPs and different subnets. Now the PC side uh, configuration is done. To verify, we can use the show IP command to verify these things. Now we'll go to the switch side configuration. On the switch side, we need to make sure that we're assigning the ports in the respective VLANs. So we can create the VLANs, uh, let's say the VLAN 10. I'll just give the name as the same, a VLAN 20. Name, I'm giving as a VLAN 20 here. Anyway, default, it takes the same names. So when you say show VLAN, we should see the VLAN 10 and VLAN 20 active but we don't have any specific ports assigned to them so how to assign the ports we'll say interface range here as well e1 by 1 e0 by 1 hyphen 2 switch port mode access and then switch port access vlan 10 and likewise we'll say e1 by 1 to 2 right those are the ports as per my topology we'll say switch port mode access and then we'll say switch port access vlan 20. Now, once you're done with this, make sure that you also save the configurations with the command of write command to save the configs. When you say show VLAN, you can see the port number uh, one and two in the port numbers. There's zero slots in the VLAN 10 and then one slot in the VLAN 20. So in terms of verifications, we should have reachability between the same if everything is okay. So from 1.1 PC, I can ping to 1.2. And similar way from 2.1 PC, I can ping to 2.2. The same same VLAN, same subnet. If you remember the troubleshooting, they must be on the same. But again, the different VLANs, they cannot communicate because they are in different subnets. Uh, right now, there is no communication process because they are on a different uh, subnets and different VLANs. Anyway, as we progress, we will be getting into some uh, inter-VLAN routing where we'll, we can also allow the inter-VLAN routing communication process as well. Now, similar way, what I'll do, I'll try to quickly set up the same thing uh, for for advancing to the trunking labs. Okay, so probably the next time I'm going to uh, configure the switch to similar to the uh, similar to the VLANs, and then we'll configure the trunking on the top of it. Okay, so let's uh, let's quickly do that. So what I'll do is I'll add these two ports. Again, the same I'm using E0 by one and E0 by two, and here I'll use is E1 by 1 and E1 by 2. And I'm going to assign this in the VLAN 10 and this in the VLAN 20. Okay, so I need some uh, devices and we'll, we'll do that uh, again for the verification.